y'all. I'm Laura and welcome back to Confident Notions. So, um, I'm going to dive right into this. I know, um, as I'm filming this, I've had a bit of a hiatus from posting videos for no particular reason other than like, I'm just really damn busy right now. Anywho, and I would be remiss to say that it was going to get any, like, less busy. Anyways, we just came off Morgan's birthday week and then today we just got back from taking her to Great Wolf Lodge and um, I'm exhausted. It's why myself and these like bags under my eyes, took a little nap and then I got up and I was like, I have so much crap that I have to film and I have to show you all what I found in this particular thrift haul and I've got some Dollar Tree stuff all spread around me. Anyways, I'm going to get right into this, but I hope everyone is doing well. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Lara and I film lots of haul videos and mostly Dollar Tree haul videos because I've been finding some good stuff there recently. And, but today I do have a thrift haul for you and I'll be completely honest, like, why do you film all these thrift hauls and why all these like Dollar Tree hauls like it's kind of, they're kind of almost the same for me I love the thrill of the hunt I love like taking a look and seeing like what awesome things are out there and yeah and just finding it and like finding things that we can use and purpose that um in places you wouldn't expect to find I guess right anyways I'm gonna get right into it but first off I'm going to call out my favorite new sign that um, I got for myself here and it says I'm not bossy I'm motivational and I'm going to put that in the background of everything so that way when my team they don't call me bossy but anyways <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it's hysterical all right I'm gonna get into this this is a several thrift stores from a couple of different days and I'm gonna try to do my best to see if I can remember the prices but I'll show you all the stuff I got and all this stuff has already been like washed and sanitized and all that goodness. So first up, I went over to one of my favorite thrift hauls, which is the um, Hand Me Ups thrift store. Uh, and I don't know, they're always good for clothes. Like they're just great for clothes a lot of the time. Like they good. So I picked up this. I was looking for like some larger, like graphic-y t-shirts as, you know, evidenced by me, like, Target brand Guns N' Roses t-shirt and I tell you because like these things were like 16 17 bucks at Target and I was like I can do better than that oh my like I'm not gonna find a vintage Guns N' Roses tea at the thrift store but I did find this really cool like margarita one and I just love the vibes and it says toucan put it on my bill ha 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 margaritaville so I thought that was really fun so I like this color like this orangey color I think it's like great some vi great vibes for um Summertime goes great with a pair of bike shorts or something, just for like chilling around the house, not doing much of anything. Then also at that same thrift store, I found this also in the men's section. And I want to say these were like the men's section t-shirts were like $1.99. But I found this really cool like Newsies t-shirt. So Disney's Newsies musical. This here I thought would be a great like workout shirt. This is like the tag is all crumbled. I think this is a large maybe. Maybe I can't tell. I have no idea. I'm not gonna try to like piece it together. It's all like shredded. But this is like the the cut and fit of shirts that I really like for, um, like to work out in. I don't know. I like. I can't get into. I can't get into like athletic tops, and I don't know why. It's just my thing. Like, I just can't do it. So I like that one for that, and I thought it was a great price. I also. It's so funny, like, I can tell, like, what the temperature was when I was there, because I was like, I'm cold. I need some more, like, athletic-y, like, long sleeve shirts, like, athleisure, like, tops. And I found this really awesome Fila um, zip-up. Like, it's a quarter, this is a quarter zip. It's a quarter zip, but, like, the, the quarter is, like, on the neck, and it has this, like, really awesome, like, mock turtleneck design here, and black with thumb holes and I thought this was really really cute and it even like flares out a little bit at the bottom this here this is a 2x and I was like yep that's fine by me I will take this one in a 2x because otherwise like the you know these types of athletic shirts fit like super fitted and um I'm okay if that one's a little bigger but I thought this was like such great colors and like these like muted neons and blacks and like I was totally down with that that one was a little more I think it was like $3.99. But yes, I know that those shirts new normally go for like $25, $27. And that's Fila. And I think they sell those at Kohl's now. Um, but I thought that was a hell of a deal. In that similar vein, I picked up this one here. So this is another like athletic athleisure um, 
shirt with the thumb holes if I ran outside in the cold again, which I probably will do eventually. These are the types of shirts that I usually wear when I do that. This one here, this is a be inspired. It is an extra large. I don't know. I've seen these ones before, but anyways, I thought this was really cute. I got this in the bin section at Goodwill and it's in pretty good shape. No stains, tears, rips or anything like that. Um, I think it was $1.99 because it was at the bins. Also at the bins at the Goodwill, I found this gem. Oh yeah. It says Circus Circus Las Vegas. And I was like, that is spectacular. I don't think that they actually purchased it at Circus Circus because I have a feeling they were to have like a Circus Circus tag on here, but it says Vegas on it and it says Circus Circus. And I was like, hell yes. We went to, last time we went to Vegas was like before we were married and actually they had a really good steakhouse at Circus Circus. It was like delicious. Um, like not even like an amazing steakhouse. And now granted this was like 16 years ago. Anywho, I thought that this was spectacular because if y'all know me, the only, like my biggest aspiration is to be an old lady sitting in front of a slot machine. And this gave me such vibes. I love it. And this one is really oversized. It's also a double X. I was like, yep, I'll take that one too. I'll go into it in a little bit more, but um, fun fact, my husband won a trip to Vegas and we are both fully vaccinated and we are going next month. So you won't hear about much of Vegas next month. Alright, and then I also found this here. I think I also found this at the other same place. So this is a Agnes and Dora medium um, shirt. And I was also looking for work shirts at the same time, right? So I was looking for Zoom shirts as well as like some athleisure and like workout clothes. And I found this. If I recall correctly, like Agnes and Dora were some little like Lulu. No, were they like a Lularoo rival? Was there some rivalry around them? Anyways. You find a lot of LuLaRoe at the at the thrift stores nowadays. Let me tell you, it is all over the place. Like I remember people fighting over some LuLaRoe and like getting online and going to like Facebook parties to get in on leggings and all that BS. And let me tell you, you can find all of them leggings at the thrift store now. I ain't gonna lie, like I got something too, like back in the day. Not as much as some others, but whoo, it was it was brutal for a while. <laughs> I also found this Zoom shirt, and these are not my normal colors. I usually don't do brown, but I feel, okay, I know I have a shirt that's very similar to this. I have a work shirt that's very similar to this, like a long sleeve that's almost this, and it was, I got it at the Limited back in the day. RIP Limited. Love you. Um, but it was long sleeve. That's right, I do have something similar. Anyways, that looks really good on me when I unpack it from somewhere so i thought this was really cute this was it's a large and it looks like it's like and it's got a little bit of stretch like for a zoom shirt and i thought that was really cute i think i saw that on the rack while i was waiting to check out of the goodwill where i got the other stuff in the bins and i was like oh this is cute i'll get this one too for like 3.99 that was either three or 2.99 i think it was 3.99 I also found some shorts for Morgan. These are little 4T shorts. How cute are those? With a little eyelid on it and little little bows on there. I thought those were precious. To go with that bow theme, I also picked her up this adorable little shirt with the plaid bow on it. And this is also 4T. I just tell you, so I'm, I don't know why. I was like, oh, I'll get her some 5Ts so she can grow into them. But the thing is, they're all like really too big. Like she's definitely very solidly, like barely out of a 3T and most definitely a 4T. And like all of her clothes are swimming on her. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, kid. Sorry about that. Oops, my bad. Anyways, um, last of the clothes that I've got, um, these ones here I picked up at the rescue mission. Rescue mission while I was waiting for my to get my nails done. This one I picked up for my husband because he likes these old navy shirts, like for sleep shirts. This was in the 99 cents t-shirt section. So just a you know, green, old navy, like overwashed, as I like show you the back of the shirt and not my face talking. So I picked him up that. And then I also thought this was hella groovy. I don't know why, but it's it's Fletcher's landscaping in somewhere it's nearby Fletcher's landscaping landing we broke I don't even know where that is but anyways is a Fletcher Flushers Flushers landscaping I'm sure I don't know why and it's like camp grit the campground I don't know it was an extra large and it was 99 cents and I thought it was hella fun I was like yeah I'm gonna get that too it's gonna go with my uh my circus circus Vegas t-shirt 
along those similar veins, I found this really cute like Louisiana crab boil, crab boil or crawfish boil. And it's got like crawfish on it and potatoes and corn. And I was like, oh, that's really cute. Again, I think this is more of like a workout t-shirt, but I got that for 99 cents. And then the other thing I picked up for 99 cents, which was also in the men's section, which was kind of weird because it's not a man's shirt. And this is from J. Jill. You know, they sell J. Jill at the mall. Um, but it was this really cute, like, like nice blue, like long sleeve, um, not too heavy shirt. And I was like, 99 cents, what's wrong with it? And I didn't check, I didn't check it over before I left, but it does have like, some bleach on the arm and I was like okay who knows maybe I'll like bleach tie-dye the whole thing and that would be a, like a really cute look I might do that I still got bleach and tie-dye remember that tie-dye phase we all went through like in the middle of the pandemic not in the middle like at the beginning of the pandemic I still got bleach and rubber bands so I might bleach tie-dye that whole thing all right I think that's all of the clothes like 11 minutes in I think that's all of the clothes so let me get through some of the other things that I picked some of the like decor ish stuff and like non- Oh, no, here's a shirt. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> this one I got from the, the one around the corner for me. Again, another Zoom work shirt. I thought this was really cute. So it's just like black and white, little like knit top. My vibes, right? So I picked up that too. How much were you? Oh, I haven't watched you yet. You got about $2.99 because I forgot you were in there. So I grabbed that one for $2.99. And I think the rest of the, nope, mm -mm, nope, I didn't. For $3.99, I picked up these pants. Y'all, look at these pants. Are they something? Do you not love these? Like this black background with the plaid and not the plaid, but there's like all these like florals in here. I thought these were so groovy. This is by Peck and Peck. It is a size 10 that might be aspirational today, but I'll get back to you. But look, I'm like, oh, they got some stretch in them. I might be able to squeeze back into a 10, even though I'm most definitely a 12. <laughs> these were $3.99. And, and then I was watching another YouTube video and whoever I was watching, they're like, oh, I was like looking for printed pants because they're really in right now. And I'm like, yes, you are in now. Um, so I thought these were really cute, even though I know nobody going to see them on my bottom. I thought those were adorable. I haven't tried those on yet. They might be today pants. They might be aspirational pants. I'm not sure what kind of pants they're going to be. All right, <laughs> moving on to that. I also picked up this oven mitt. This was only a dollar and I don't know, it, it looks like it never been used. It was like, it's not greasy, it's not stained, it's nothing going on here. And this is by, who is this? Does it tell me? It don't tell me, it's fine. Anyways, my husband goes through oven mitts like crazy and they're immediately like destroyed. And it just drives me crazy to pay $10 for like a set of oven mitts. But he'll like this one cause it's long and it was a dollar. So yeah, we're a dollar, we gonna get it. So we got that for a dollar. And then I also, ooh, this is also from the thrift store around the corner from me. And I just, I, get, I dropped off like a ton of stuff. Like we cleaned out part of the garage and a bunch of Morgan's old toys and stuff. And so I feel like if you put like good thrift into the world, then good thrift is going to come back to you. So I found a Pyrex dish. Like, let me tell you, I love these Pyrex dishes. Now this one, this lid is a little busted, but that's okay. Um, $2, $2 for Pyrex. And I love Pyrex. Like, I just love it. Love it. Love it. Especially for two bucks. I'm going to grab Pyrex. Pyrex when I see it. Then I did also pick up some... Is this hand towel? This may be a kitchen towel. Anyways, I picked up this kitchen towel. Don't ask me why. I love me some like some old lady cleaned out her pantry closet and found like these towels that I never seen the light of day before. And I just love them and I don't know why. But it's just a kitchen towel. But it was like the blues and the um the mustard colors and like the mustard and the green, like very much in right now so like this whole like color scheme is very in right now and I know this is older because I've never heard of this state pride state pride what I don't know it, but it has a sewn on tag instead of the flappy tag which tells me that it's old and I think my mom had this in the 80s maybe so for a dollar I'm like yeah I'll pick that up put that in the kitchen towel drawer and then I also grabbed these two Hand, sets of hand towels too also for a dollar but I thought the embroidery was really cute on it this again this like greenery which looks a lot like that greenery over there you know what I'm getting at um and so it was just these these complimentary wait are these the same these might be the same 
yeah so these two of the same and I thought that would be cute um towel rack towel rack hand towels you know where the towels go when you need to wash your hands put them in there all right a couple of other things like I said Morgan is napping and I gotta get her up soon so I gotta get through this haul so I can get her up all right let's move on I found, like, I don't need this, but I thought this was so cool. It is this, like, old vintage thermos. How fun is this? And it's all, like, I don't know. I just think it's really cool. Like, I would not, I would use this for, like, winter display or something. And so this is by, I can't tell. Three house I don't know but it's like all crusty like it's all <laughs> crusty on the bottom you're like Laura are you telling me you bought this like crusty thing but I love like the old-timey graphics of it and just the um it was two bucks and I know I know it's old like I know it's old and it looks fun and like it looks I mean you wouldn't drink out of it but I think it's really cute for like a display and I know it's probably missing its little cappy thing but I just thought it was so fun looking and for some reason I couldn't like not get it for two dollars so I had to get it as part of my like camp themed winter, I guess. Um, then also because I can't stop buying greenery in brass pots, don't ask. This was five bucks, but I was like, yeah, for $5, I'm gonna pick this up. This is a solid brass and brass is very like in right now, who knew? So this is solid brass and it's just got some greenery that they shoved in and it was five dollars like i said north raleigh ministries like they have some ladies and like volunteer ladies in the back who just like make flower arrangements and they're gorgeous and none of them are more than twenty dollars and there's so much like there's so much better than i could ever make on my own but for this like fun looking like brass pot and some greenery yeah they'll pay five bucks for that you can't get that in a dollar you can't get that in the dollar spread at target you know you know what i'm talking about um I picked up some hand weights also I was looking at hand weights previously and I know neither of these match and they both need to be like hosed down so these are three pound hand weights and they were cheap they were like a dollar no not that cheap they were three dollars each which is not a bad price because I was looking at these at Target um so I have a pair of six pounds hand weights I have a pair of five pounds and I have a pair of now three pounds um because a lot of some of the Peloton classes, like there's some strength classes in there too. And I, I was like, okay, we'll just get like an assortment of different sizes. Um, these are really good for like arm, like triceps, especially when you're first starting back out. And so for three bucks, I thought this was a fine, fine price. They just need a little sanitization and would be good. good. All right, last couple of things here. I did pick up, these were... I thought this was a great deal. They were $2 a piece and they were for party supplies. And there were some um, slinkies in here and little kaleidoscopes. And I was like, oh, this is great. We'll either take it to the party, like to Morgan's joint party because I had signed up for goodie bags. And then um, anyways, I met with all the moms and they're like, we, why don't we just do this for goodie bags instead? I'm like, whatever. But anyways, these were bags were $2 a piece. So I'm going to save them for another day and I'm sure we'll use them for something or other. I feel like... I don't know this is like pinata stuff and stuff also right then this here you know i love me a good grab bag i can't help myself here this grab bag was two dollars and it's got some random crap in it but i got it for these um for these napkin rings i thought these napkin rings were spectacular and i'm already rambling on for 10 minutes or like close to 20 minutes now but look how cool these napkin rings are don't you love those i love these I love a napkin ring. So I thought those were really cool. And so that is like the main reason I buy I bought the box. Not but they did have like it came with like another it came with some salt and pepper shakers, which you can never have too many of. And this random sushi box. This looks like some sort of like gift that somebody picked up for somebody and they are like, yeah, that's cool, whatever. I'm what am I hell am I gonna do with this like little sushi kit? I can go make my own sushi. Speaking of that, my husband is actually out getting sushi. Okay. And then this lemon grater, lemon, lemon zester. I think it's a lemon zester. Anyways, for two bucks, I thought that was a fine bag. And then the other bag I picked up was this one here, also for $2. Oh, I love the bags. 
But a couple of things that this had in here. So this is a, it had this cute little bear in it and I thought she was precious. This cute little grumpy bear. So this is Rust Vintage Collection. This is Brittany. I don't know where she, when she was made. Does it tell me? It doesn't tell me. Handmade China, burp, 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 burp. Anyways, I got a kid. She got she bears, right? Um, I don't know what that is. But then they did have some really cute figurines in here, which I thought were pretty decent for that. So we've got this like little woodland critter. Right, and yeah, because I put these in my tier tray like for the seasons. So we got this cute little like squirrel woodland critter. I've got um, a random car. We've got this other random car, Hot Wheels. I'll give these to Morgan, she'll be thrilled. Then there's this tiny mirror. Okay, this is the most random bags ever. And then there's a hat which I don't think matches this bear. But the rest of this bag are full of like little tiny tchotchkes. So there's a little frog. There's all of these little like, there's a little doggy and this other little doggy. And here's a bunny with part of its ear broken off. This I believe is like Mexican pottery. Is there something, was there like a something in here? All right, and so we've got this Mexican pottery out, which I think is really, really awesome. And there's just like so many other like little bits and pieces in here. This old, like I know that's an old chicken. Like this is an old ass chicken. Like that was from some kid set that even like my grandma had. Um, we've got birds and we've got all kinds of stuff. This one has a Japan sticker on it. Like these are some old, old little bitty things in here. So I just thought they were really fun, right? This guy, doggy, his legs are kind of broken. He's also Japan um, in here. So unfortunately, like some of these little guys didn't make it very well, but some of them have held up and I thought this was really cute. I'll just put these in a little box and we're going to play with these or whatever. I don't think there's any like money to be had in any of these, but I thought they were hella cute. So that's it. So me and my handfuls of tiny figurines um, are gonna go and try to gently wake up my child so that she's not like a raging lunatic. And I hope you are doing well. I hope you are staying safe. Um, and as always, if you like this, if you like videos like this, it would super duper help out my channel if you hit like button, add a comment, anything like that, that would be amazing. And yeah, I will see y'all soon.